times, obviously. The results of our investigation were very disappointing. We found that consumers are being led very badly. At this first stage, national authorities detected problems in 55% of the websites under the review. 55 websites are not complying, so they are misleading. Under the EU rules, if you buy something on the internet, the trader must clearly inform you that you have the right for at least seven days, longer in some, other, in some countries, to change your mind without giving any reason, send the product back and get your money back. Actually, this is the difference when you buy and just in, in the shop and you can uh, just see the item compared to when you buy online. So you have an additional privilege, a little bit asymmetric on the side of the consumers, but rightly so, because you are shopping online. But on many websites, customers were either not told about this right at all, or even worse, were misinformed. For instance, many websites indicated that the trader only accepts the product back if it is faulty, or only provides store credit, but not a cash refund. So after this one, the second most common problem was misleading or incomplete information about the total cost, which is a very important feature when you decide to choose to buy online. I was shocked to find that this was the case for 45 problematic websites. My experience is that often the same company has, which has different websites in different... So if you live in France and if you'd like to buy a digital camera from Belgium website, you should be able to find clear information on the delivery rates to France before you agree to buy the camera. In many cases, however, customers could not find such information. That there were other reasons why they couldn't provide uh, the data for this search. Now, the enforcement phase starts. In the coming months, national enforcement authorities will contact the companies managing the websites concerned and ask them to clarify the situation or bring the sites in line with the law. We will sweep the market. We have learned from experience that even a simple contact from the national authorities often triggers very good results and traders clean up their websites. Otherwise, companies can be taken to the court or face financial penalties under national law. Legal rules are also necessary. You spoke a lot about uh, law enforcement and cooperation of...